Welcome back friends. So here I am in my studio and I decided to just do some random techniques on watercolor paper for today and then possibly in the future, I don't know if we'll do the smoother side or the rougher side, anyway then maybe in the future we'll cut these apart and make a collage. I want to start doing more collage videos in the near future so I need some materials other than pre-printed from magazines because I really don't like to work that way that much. So I would much rather just doodle and play on paper and then cut that apart and see what we can make later. I also want to mention, stick around towards the end, I'm going to give you a, another sneak peek at my talk painting in process. So, but um, there's no room in this corner for everything that I want to show you. So we're going to work in this corner and then I will set up the other easel and you'll be able to see what I'm working on. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to attempt this. There's some crazy person singing outside in the alley. <laughs> so we shall see. Hopefully you won't hear all of that. I'm going to put some yellow at the one side and white. I'm just going to do like an undercoat because we're going to do a um, alcohol effect so let's just and then we can start to blend this and then we'll have white or mostly white okay so this is just a rough application we're going to put um, once this dries, I'm going to put a darker color on top that is a transparent, and then we're going to use alcohol to make a pattern. This is a thalo turqu turquoise in the thalo family, I suppose. Um, it is transparent, so you can see the bars going through. And um, so I'm going to do a very rough application of this, add a little bit of water. go over the whole thing. Okay, now while it's still wet, I'm going to take some alcohol And there you go. So the alcohol, alcohol and acrylics, um, the alcohol kind of, uh, sep in this case, separates the acrylic. Um, but you know, one of the ways, you know, in my fabric mosaic, one of the ways, if I make a mistake um, and I put the wrong piece in the wrong um, in the wrong spot, one of the ways that I get it off to get under the gel medium is to use alcohol. I soak the area and I can lift off my fabric. So alcohol does some interesting effects. And this is going to take some time to dry, so I'm going to take this off the board and we'll do something else. So I just put a very light white underneath, very light coat, and it's dry. And I think I'm just going to try to do a couple of things on this one piece of paper. So I do have a stencil brush and I'm going to try to use, use up some of this paint and very lightly. I, I like when it's uneven where you get lights and darks. So it's kind of nice that my paint is a little 
is drying up a little bit. I think this is going to give us a nice effect. Sometimes I make my own stencils with my Cricut. Today I'm just using a stencil I bought. Okay. So see how we have some darks and some lights? I like that. All right, now we're gonna try another color. Let's see, let's find another transparent color. My favorite, my favorite is this purple, so I'm going to go with the purple. And I'm being lazy, I'm not taking the time to clean my brushes properly. Um, okay, so we're just going to lay this down. And we're going to get some saran wrap. This is regular saran wrap. Take out a little piece. We're just going to smush it in. And we're going to leave that to dry. All right, so now I'm using, this is a really nice bright green. It's a phthalo green, yellow shade. I want to do one more thing over here. I'm going to do another alcohol one over here. So I really, I decided I really like this green. So let's see how that comes out against the white, and it's a sort of a lighter green. Okay, so because it was a light wash, I'm noticing that these are almost dry. This one is dry. So I'm going to, um, even though it has some saran wrap and some of it might be wet, um, normally I would leave this for even overnight, but, um, but I want to get this video finished. So here I am going to show you the kind of effect that you get. That looks really cool. I like that. This one I might not like so much. Let's see. Oh, actually, I do. <laughs> you just never know what you're going to get. Um, this one's a little busier, but I kind of like it. Um, really nice texture. This one's a little sharper in its points and stuff. Actually, this is a little more organic, so I kind of like this one better. The one that I thought I wasn't going to like is the one that I'm liking better. So you just never know. These kinds of, um, these are the, um, according to Bob Ross, happy accidents. <laughs> <laughs> that you just never know and you can just play around on some inexpensive watercolor paper and get a little bit better with the techniques and then let them dry throw them in a drawer and then when you're ready to do some collage you have a bunch of um, different things and um, I should have probably been a little bit more varied in my paint colors um, but I'm going to be doing more of these and more of these and then eventually I will record a video where I do a collage with um, all of my little experiments. So I hope you enjoyed this today. This was um, just very simple little um, techniques that you can learn. Obviously online you can get lots of nice uh, stencils um, and if you have a Cricut you can make your own. <coughs> And then, of course, alcohol, can't beat that, and saran wrap. Like, wow, I really like that technique best. 
and it makes a good underpainting. I did the collage I did a few weeks ago ha started with an underpainting with saran wrap. But anyway, um, I'm very, very happy with this organic looking one and I want to try to make more of these in different colors and see um, where I can use that. So I promised you a little sneak peek at my painting. This is how far I've gotten. Um, as you can see, this is what it's going to look like. And I do have um, these nice hot pink colors. Wait, let me get my, my fabric. Here's my fabric. If you saw the video last week, then you probably heard a little bit more about this. But anyway, it's got my, my little positive thoughts on self-talk. Um, and it's going to say talk at the top and so the hot pink is going to go in here and then graduating over here to a more coral color um, these kind of corals on this side and these really bright pinks sort of in the middle and um, I worked a little bit on the highlights and uh, next, next week I'll probably start working on the teeth. Okay, so each week I'm going to show you a little bit more of the progress of this particular artwork. And uh, you will get to see it sort of building. I can't do one of those progression videos because they take too long. I mean, you would be bored to tears if you had to watch me put every piece down, even speed even if I speed that up <laughs> you would be bored so um, but I'll talk about it each week each week on my video and you'll get to see a little further along each time so thanks for stopping by and uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like this type of video and see you again next time bye bye <laughs>